There it is. I thought that was going to pop up and do it. Okay, so I will call to order Monday, November 13th, 2023, a legislative inter intergovernmental relations committee meeting. Roll call, please. Council Member Pryor. Uh -oh. Here. There Council Member Level. Here. Mayor Baird. And Council Member DeMauro. Here. First item is approval of the agenda. Looking for a motion. Chair. Yes, Council Member. I, I move to approve the agenda. Second. Thank you. I have a motion and a second to approve the agenda. Roll call, please. Council Member DeMauro. Aye. Council Member Pryor. Aye. Council Member Lovell. Aye. All right. Thank you. Moving on, public comments. Do we have any public comments, Gina? I didn't have any. Brian, yeah. did you have any? Nothing that I'm aware of. Okay, thank you. Uh, we will move right into the items, the business at hand. First of all, the approval of the October 23rd, 2023 Legislative and Intergovern Intergovernmental Relations Committee action letter. Looking for a motion. Chair. Chair. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I move to approve the action letter. Second. All right. Thank you. I have a motion and a second to approve the October 23rd, 2023 action letter. Mm -hmm. Roll call, please. Any, any discussion on that motion, by the way? Seeing none, roll call, please. Council Member Lovell? Aye. Council Member DeMauro? Aye. And Council Member Pryor? Aye. Thank you. That's three ayes. Approving the action letter. Next up is the con continued discussion of the lobbyist RFP and contract. Brian Head. Thank you, Chair. Um, <clears throat> during the last meeting, um, we we discussed the the single bid. Oh wait, there's the mayor. Oh, just popped on. Hello. Good morning. Sorry. That's okay. We we, we didn't know if you were going to be here. We we've started. We're start. We're on the first item, which is the discussion of the uh, lobbyist RFP and contract. So you didn't miss anything. All right, Brian. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so last meeting we um, <clears throat> we provided the results of the RFP that we um, put out on the out on the street for about thirty days. Um, we only received the, the one lobbyist. Um, we also, uh, you, you had a couple of questions that you wanted me to ask. Uh, first of all, you wanted to see a, a sample report from the from uh, Zach Pollock uh, and that group, although the name is escaping me right at this moment. Um, test, test, it's you, working, it's working, it's working. Yes, yes. We can hear you. We had ITS problems also, Bill, so. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we did provide you with a copy of that report. I will just say after kind of reviewing through reviewing it, it looks, I mean, it looks relatively comprehensive and, um, you know, I don't know who the entity was that it was a report for, but it looks like it was the type of report that we are used to. And some of it, it seemed like it was a little more detailed. So um, I think it looked like a good report to me, but. Ultimately, that's that's your call as well. Um, and then also there was mention in there about travel expenses. Um, <clears throat> I did speak with uh, with the lobbyist. Actually, I spoke to both principals. They were both in the car together when I called them. So I, I kind of got lucky on that. But um, when I spoke with them, they both um, they both said that, you know, for the trip to Lee Summit to come and do their report, that type of thing there what that wasn't what they were talking about with regard, regard to travel but some of their larger clients will have them travel to conferences uh, on their behalf and things like that and so they would be seeking reimbursement for things like that that was what they were talking about um, when it came to to potential reimbursement for travel uh, but 
coming to Lee's Summit a couple of times was not something that they, you know, they're like, that's a few bucks of gas and a little bit of time. That's not flights and hotels and all of that kind of thing. Like, like they, that, that would be what they would anticipate wanting to be reimbursed for. So there wasn't, there wasn't really an issue there. Um, the other item that you wanted me to inquire specifically of our previous lobby, uh, lobbyist, Mr. Durham, was why you felt like we only got one bid. And he gave me kind of a two, two part answer. One part was he said, you know, there's lobbyists just don't really look for stuff like this. It's usually word of mouth. And um, but I know we did solicit. We did actually direct send some of these to people we did last time. We didn't get responses from them. Um, he also mentioned that his company had not made known the fact that they were going to be going to be, you know, winding up their business. So he said there may have been a little bit of the fact that everybody just assumed we were going to do it again and they just didn't want to go through the hassle of responding. So those were the two big reasons. And then he also mentioned, and I, I'm, he just said, you know, it's kind of a hassle to go through a whole big, long procurement, fill out all that information when really what you're talking about is a is a service that's a little bit harder to quantify. He mentioned that when he and I spoke. So um, but those were those were the reasons that he gave. Um, test, 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 got gotcha, you, Josh. Testing, testing. We hear want you. To, what, what if I want to? Oh. <laughs> Um, so those were the reasons that he gave. Um, when I spoke to the lobbyist about, uh, or the, the, the two principals of the new lobbying firm um, about, you know, ha had they reviewed the agreement that was in the, the document, they indicated that they had, they said they would have a few comments, but it wasn't anything massive. If we did ultimately award them this contract, um, I think we should be able to turn that around fairly quickly. Um, so, um, at this point, I think it is, is up to the committee. If you want to accept this bid, understanding that it is substantially more than we've paid in the past. Uh, and if so, then, uh, ultimately I would just need direction to go forward, finish negotiating the contract. And I did include in the packet for you, I did include a motion that if you were comfortable going forward, understanding that the contract is largely uh, the draft of the contract is largely already formed that we could approve this and send it on to Council uh, in a uh, in a substantially similar form and um, we could get it in front of the Council fairly quickly. If that was something y'all were comfortable with. Thank you, Brian, and, and I, I did appreciate the, that you sent uh, the response from Britain group. I read through that. That was interesting also and then. Uh, just to start the discussion, um, the report, the sample report that was sent to us was much more detailed than, than I was uh, I was expecting or used to. And I, I really, I learned a lot just by reading that report, even though it was outdated. So I'm, I was very happy with that report. I will open it up to discussion to the mayor and the council members who wants to go first. May mayor Baird? Um, no, I'm I'm fine with going forward with this group. We know okay. that been helpful and and such. I thought it was a good idea to follow up on this before we made the the decision and get more information. But I'm good with them. Council Member Pryor, Council Member Level, do you have any comments? Either one. I'm good with it too. I appreciated the letter and the response and uh, the diligence uh, Mr. Head did, and I feel comfortable with it. Yep, I'm I'm good with it too. I like you, Councilmember Tomorrow. I was impressed with the report; it was very detailed. Um, and yeah, thank you, Mr. Head, for doing all the work you did. But I'm I'm good with going forward. Okay, well that if. Um... If you guys want, if somebody wants to make a motion, I'm entertaining a motion, then we'll move it to the full council for consideration and review. There is a motion at the at the bottom of the packet. Um, if that would talking be talking in the mic, talking in the mic. 
saying things. Okay. <laughs> They're still having ITS issues, apparently. <laughs> uh, you want me to put? I can uh, share. Yeah. The, why why don't you put it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on my phone. I don't have access to it. Okay, so you should be able to see it right down here at the bottom. Very bottom, yeah. It's not it's not written as a motion exactly, but um, I think the appropriate motion would be I move to authorize the city attorney to negotiate a contract. Blah blah blah. <clears throat> you Chair, to... oh, go ahead, Mia. No, you can go ahead. I'm uh, Chair, go... I move. I move to. Um... Hey, John. John, yep. would, you, would you turn your video on? Yep. Just, you make sorry. Noise. That's okay. Yeah. There you <laughs> go. This for my phone. If I can get this, that right. way I moved to that way when nobody's uh, <laughs> impostering you. <laughs> I moved to advance to the full council um, this motion um, to allow the authorize the city attorney um, to negotiate a contract for the services. The form is substantially similar to that. Oh man, I'm messing this all up. Um, let me start over. I move to advance city council um, to with recommendation to authorize the city attorney to negotiate a contract for um, the lobbying services as uh, presented in this proposal. Second. Second. Yeah. Motion by council member level, uh, second by mayor Baird. Moving before you, before you call the vote, uh, Council Member Level, was that with a recommendation for approval? Yes, I'm sorry, advance the city council with a recommendation of approval to allow the city attorney to negotiate on the city's behalf a um, lobbying agreement with this firm. That'll work. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I got a motion by Council Member Level, a second by Mayor Baird, moving the uh, recommendation for approval of the RFP for the lobbyists to the full council. Any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, roll call, please. May Mayor Baird? Aye. Council Member Pryor? Aye. Council Member Lovell? Aye. And Council Member DeMauro? Aye. Thank you. That's that's a unanimous uh, affirmative. Thank you very much. Moving on, next item, discussion of potential visit to the Capitol uh, for the MML Legislative Conference in Jefferson City. Um, yes. I, I think all it's... I wanted to just was to remind that the, um, the MML's conference uh, is uh, February the 20th and 21st, 2024. Um, <clears throat> and then there will be also... Um, I don't know if members of this group might want to piggyback onto the, so the chamber legislative group always does a meeting a little bit later in the year. Um, I don't know if that might be something folks would be interesting, interested in doing as well. I've gone to that a couple of times and it, it is a whole day. I mean, you take the whole day, you leave early, you get back late, but it is also just kind of an interesting, interesting trip. And, and there are several people from the chamber are in that one as well, but the February the 20th and 21st looks like the registration starts at 11 a.m. on the 20th. Um, and then they're doing a dinner. They have legislator visits in the afternoon. Uh, a little bit of a program, it looks like, also from Richard Sheets. Um, so there, there, is a, there is a program coming up in February for that purpose. But if you also want to schedule something uh, on your own, you certainly can do that as well. Okay, thank you, Brian. I am um, I intend to participate. You know, even just for the the day, just the Tuesday, um, and then I'll I'll solicit comments from the mayor and council members. Uh, mayor, yeah, I definitely uh, will go to the MML, and um, but I usually schedule all of our council member visits um, on our own. Um, I don't go with any other groups, so I try to schedule our own visits so that we can talk about what what Lisa might want to talk about, what our city council wants to maybe present. Um, and it's gone really well uh, that way. I, I think my first year when I did it, I think I went with 
uh, group of mayors and it didn't it didn't really go well. It didn't get to speak on behalf of Lee Summit. So I think it's gone really well. Don't you, Councilmember DeMauro, the way we've I, I think so, too. Yeah, we've very receptive uh, or very good reception, I should say, usually. So um, and then we just need to talk about what we might ask for. Last year, we had some we certainly had the ask of the higher patrol for them to fully fund it. Um, we thought we thought we had that secured, but it it later on got line vetoed. Um, and then we asked them about infrastructure for 470 Highway, and that didn't really have, get much traction. But we made a really good plea, and we you know as far as the importance of it. And I can't remember the third thing. Do you remember the third thing we asked? We had three things. We I think we were talking about the landfill, weren't we? Was the yeah. landfill? Yes. Yes. Help yeah. us. Help us. Help us. That yeah. was our is to help us with the landfill um, mm -hmm. we'll certainly still talk to him about the landfill yeah All right um, um of course we, we, uh senator serpoy will be on a list do do you think it would be beneficial well we'll we will know by then who pre-filed the bill so in case senator serpoy does not pre-file the bill and it's and it's uh uh senator bratton do we want to talk to him too maybe I don't know who's going to file the bill. I mean, I hear the rumors for, for the landfill. So, I mean, uh, I don't know if it's worthwhile. I I think um, Senator Sirpoy is definitely going to file the bill for the landfill. Okay. And, All and, right. Um, let me think for a second. Um, I think um, Carrie Engel and John Patterson are going to file a bill on the house side but i think it's going to be um one for the school district one for the school district to be able to say no to the landfill which um within a mile um which would give the lee summit schools and grandview schools the ability to uh, basically veto a landfill so we we may be able to what you're saying we may be able to uh, have two vetoes one by the school district one by the city if we're if if things work out well then yeah but i i just um i still i can't be specific as to who but yeah um i i still know that uh there are people willing to um filibuster it and um, but the hope was that they would be able to get it on the floor early enough that they can't filibuster it for you know months on end. Yeah, take up the whole session. Right. Uh, Council member level. Do you have yeah, a I just um, well, just in regards to the MML, um, just an opportunity to go down there. I would be really interested in being able to to go down there with some pinnered vet veterans like you guys just to kind of see how things work and how those meetings go. So um, I've actually got it in my calendar, but if the opportunity arises, I would I'd love to get down there with you guys and see you in action. Okay. That's very good. Very good. More the merrier. Council Member Pryor, did you have a comment? I I don't, but um, can you tell us privately who's willing to, maybe after this meeting, who's willing to filibuster it still? Um. I, One I, and then oh, I don't. Um, I wasn't saying it because I wasn't sure of who it was. Uh, I mean, I was. I didn't say because I wasn't sure of their names. I can't remember them off the top of my oh. head. One's in Springfield. One's in St. Louis. Um. Yeah, they're they're senators other... still. Are they still senators? Um. Yep. Okay, I'll find out. Um, yeah. and then Doctor Buck knows who they are. Okay. I'm saying that. Okay. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. It was fun. Jefferson City was fun last year. I know you don't want to stay at that same hotel, but um, <laughs> Fred, <laughs> Council Member Demora and I, we, I think, I feel like we did it the smart way. We we drove down and drove home the same day, so we didn't have to deal with a bad hotel. Um, 
but yeah, and I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind taking more than one trip even down there. I know, um, I do feel like it was beneficial when we all went and we all just were able to visit with, um, the state reps and the Senator Mm one-on-one or not one-on-one, but like however many people on one, just city of Lee summit on one. Yeah. Well, well, Matt, Matt sends out an invitation when when the chamber is organizing their events, so we'll just kind of stay vigilant and watch for that if if we want to. And then, as as the mayor said, we can you know we can we can uh, schedule another visit, council member or individual. You know yeah. they. Okay, so it sounds like we're we're hooked up, Brian. I mean, we're we've got four for sure going. Yeah. Um, you may you may ultimately have more by then. Well, but, yes, yes. We'll have to figure out how we post that if if we need to and all that. But we'll we'll deal with that when we get there. Okay. All righty. Well, that brings us to roundtable. Uh, anybody have any roundtable items they want to divulge? Chair, Mayor. Um, I've still I've been. Um, do you remember we went to DC and I, uh, nobody was there to, well, either they weren't there to meet with us or they wouldn't meet with us. But remember when, remember when uh, Congressman Cleaver came to the city hall and met with us, um, he had offered, because remember we pitched the uh, 470 um, updates. He recommended uh, that we get in front of Congressman uh, Graves because he's in charge of uh, transportation committee. And so we've been trying for months upon months upon months to get in front of schedule a meeting with uh, Congressman Graves and it hasn't worked. Um, we have not had luck. So we're gonna we're, we're gonna keep trying, but I just want you to know that the reason that because I was gonna invite anybody that wanted to go to go to that um, if we, we could get that done. But I haven't had success, and Mark hasn't had success. So. Are, do they respond to you at all, or is it just silence? Silence. It's Mark's been working on it mostly. Silence. Wow, that's interesting. Wow. I'm gonna try to ask Congressman Cleaver to again, maybe set it up for us, because that's what he offered. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, that's that, that. sounds like a good idea. Because if he's the if he's the one we need to talk to, that's that's it's the one we need to talk to. Yeah. It's a big ask. It's it's a big ask, and my thought is maybe we could get you know some type of cost sharing thing going with the state and the and the federal government. So that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, you know, to get it on the radar screen is still years to get it planned and and, and designed and, and done. So as soon as, you know, as soon as we can get it in, in their radar screen, we're, we're better off. Yeah. So and anybody else? Roundtable, anybody else? Brian, did you have anything? I don't have anything. Uh, I think the question is, <clears throat> when it's time for our next meeting, we're not really going to have much uh, for December. Um, pre-filing may have just started, but we won't be very far into it. So the question is, do you want to have a December meeting, or do we just want to pick this back up in January? I think I have all the information I need to um complete the contract and get that in front of the full council. Um, so the, I guess the question is, do you want to have a, a December meeting or do you just want to pick it up in January? Well, I'll, I'll defer to the to the mayor and the council members. I, I'm fine punting it to January if we don't have anything to talk about, but I'll, I'll solicit comments. Mayor, do you have a... Yeah, I would prefer to push January unless something comes up. Um, Tomorrow night, the um, the the tomorrow night's meeting. I'll tell council that the EDC is wanting to meet like every week to try to get things resolved, and 
I don't know how, I mean, it, my, they, they basically have taken every single Tuesday I have in November and December. Um, so um, that just makes it tough. Okay. Council Member Pryor. I'm good with coming a... up till January. That's, yeah. Okay. And Council Member Level, if you can hear me. No problem here. Okay. All right. I think we've got a consensus then. We'll okay. unless something pops up, uh, Brian, we'll 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 wait that for would, That would be January eighth. Okay, thank you, Gina. Uh -huh. January eighth, two thousand twenty four. All right. Well, if, if no one else has any other comments, I will adjourn this meeting. Thank you all for participating. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Thanks.